Oh man, I'm not gonna play that, but still, I didn't know that was that close. At least I don't plan on playing it. PUBG on Xbox One? I thought it was already on there. I guess it's releasing. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I still got to beat the second one. Oh, man. I still got to beat Rise of the Tomb Raider. So I got to beat that before September 14th. Dragon Ball Fighter Z on Switch. October. And then we get into Battlefield 5, Dark Souls on the Switch, which means broken switches nationwide. Red Dead Redemption 2, October 26. Then it gets nuts in November. My goodness. Fallout 76. I'm going to be all over that. Artifact is November 28th. I'm going to be confused watching other people play that. The pick up the Pokemon Let's Go stuff is coming to Switch. November 16th. Just Cause 4, Persona, just going nuts. Smash, December 7th. That's going to be huge, man. That, that game's going to sell like crazy. Smash Ultimate is going to sell so much. They're going to make so much money. So much money. I'm going to be starting up driving for Uber Lyft pretty soon. Oh, cool. Let me know how that goes. I never, I wonder how that, I never know how um, that whole thing goes. The thing I like most about the Battlefield 5 changes is that they made a change to Battlefield they haven't made in years. Is that they made a change to the core gameplay. With the medic classes, with ammo and how it works, how people res and stuff. That hasn't been touched since like Battlefield 2. Since the paddles. And Battlefield 2. And they're they're gutting all of that. And it slows the gameplay down, and slowing the gameplay down makes it more fun. When I played the beta, I was like, I love this. I absolutely love it. You know, I, I could care less about the maps and how things look and, you know, the graphics and stuff. That is what my favorite change was, is that they gutted the core gameplay. Says, all right, no more this, this medic spamming nonsense and nade spamming and bullet spamming. You know, you're going to have to watch how many bullets you have. You're going to have to work with your team to get bullets. You're going to be dragging teammates to safety and stuff. It's just going to slow everything down. It's back up, refresh. Okay. Thank you. That's the thing I like about it the most, man. It's just, it changed all of that. Now, on top of that, they got they, they to make sure the maps aren't terrible. Why is that one potato not growing? I'm kind of waiting on it. <laughs> you can medic zap a tank driver. That's cool. All right. Um,. I forgot why I came up here again. All right, Happy Fox. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, man. See you soon. Hopefully. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by.
So the given the fact that the gameplay is going to be slower, I mean it still happens, but I found that there was less occurrences of like spawn death things. Like spawn death, spawn death, spawn death. There was less of it. It was still there. I think that's what drives people away from Battlefield is that um you tend to get that quite a bit. The heck? Oh, I went a little bit too close, didn't I? Let's do this instead. Let's just go straight this way. It's almost that time of year, year too many games, exactly. Exactly, man. And I want to play more single player games, man. I want to upload them to YouTube as, you know, as volumes and everything. Um, it's just... Uh, yeah, Monster Hunter ruined everything. I, I like how all these, these grandiose plans, I was like, yeah, we're going to be playing more single player games. Yeah, we got all these games lined up that we haven't played the single player. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, two weeks straight. It feels like two weeks straight of Monster Hunter. I just can't put it down. Can't put the freaking game down. Aloha, did I travel back in time? You did not. You did not. We are uh, fulfilling our 500 point sub goal promise. I said that if we hit 500 sub points, that you would get a full Minecraft stream. And you're looking at it. It has been fulfilled in about, you know, when I, whenever I stop tonight. The heck is this? That water? Hmm, not used to seeing water this low. Weird. I see diamonds. That's not weird. Weird. I feel like there's something down here waiting on me. Bring it! Bring, bring, bring it! Okay, we're cl close is clear. Yeah, it's vanilla, dude. Vanilla. Diamonds are a trap. They usually are. That's why I'm like digging around it. Trying to see if there's something gonna ambush me like lava or a random cave in. Where'd that come up? Right there? Okay. I'll take the gold. I'm gonna leave everything else. This is making me want to play Minecraft again. Why, Borna? Why you do that? I'm man. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do that to you, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's almost over. If you could, if you can withstand it. Oh, there's there's some iron over here. If you can withstand it for like another uh, hour or two, you'll be golden, man. Just gotta, just gotta hold on. Gotta hold on, man. Be strong. You be fine. Be strong, dude. Okay, I messed that up. I was trying to put that over there. Right, right there. There we go. All right. Well, that was easy as pie, chat. Easy as pie. I only got 800 titles on Steam and now I gotta install Minecraft. <laughs> 
Hey, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You just gotta be strong, man. Be strong. Okay. Remember I said I was gonna, I wish I would have saved that other half of that sandwich. I'm starting to think about that now. Cause when I leave this stream, I'm not going to bed. I'm probably gonna be up a few more hours. And then around that 4 a.m. mark, when I'm probably gonna be like half sleep, half awake, I'm gonna be hungry. And if I would have saved the other half of that sandwich, chat. If I would have saved the other half of that sandwich, I could have had that. But nah, 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 you had to be greedy. You had to be greedy, boy. You had to eat the, the other half of that sandwich. And tomorrow's my day off too, or today, Sunday. So I generally stay up a little bit later. Easy as pie. I just had to have it. That that was that was a good Subway sandwich. Let me tell you. It's been a while since I had a good Italian BMT, but man, that jalapeno set it off. I don't know what they did with them jalapenos. It was delicious. I used, I mean, the bread was awful, but you know, the rest of it made up for it. And that's why I end up going to other sub places like Firehouse and uh, there's a mom and pop shop around here that we go to. They have really soft, you know, fresh baked, really fresh baked bread. But the problem is I did Subway kind of late. So it was like nine, 10 o'clock when I ordered, I forgot what time it was. So it was kind of late. So all the fresh baked bread was like gone. So, no more fresh, freshly baked bread for my face. But that meat and them jalapenos. Mm! Such delish. Such delish. I can taste it now. I want another one, but I can't have it. Easy as pie. Now you're hungry? I'm sorry. But I didn't eat much today. That was like, that was like my second meal today. Well, actually, it was like a meal and a half. Whoa, it's like a dark, dark, a darker dark down here. Wow, that was creepy. It's like a blue dark. So I was, I was kind of famished. And plus I had to take some medicine. So I was like hurting from that. Um, And I was hungry and I had to, you know, had to, food, had to have food with it. Oh, okay. I'm all off here. I'm off my beautiful, delicious tunnel. I'm all off, man. Italian BMT is my jam. That's what I said. No male said the same thing. He's like, that's all I get is Italian BMT. I love that sandwich, man. That's my, yeah. I always get on Italian bread. You know, I get spinach on it. I get some cucumbers and, you know, sometimes I get the oil and vinegar and the, uh, the hollow. Well, I never got, that was my first time getting jalapenos on it. And I'm really glad I did. That just like made it pop for me for some reason. My, my taste buds started doing backflips. So it was actually kind of fun. Eating that sandwich. Um, so yeah, that was on DoorDash, which is deadly because you can get that delivered to your house. Kind of upset, kind of happy, but upset. If they, if they mess up and add Chipotle to DoorDash, I'm just going to burn my phone. I'm going to burn it. I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to light it on fire. I, I, I can't control, man. Chipotle is just my weakness. Oh, that's in the line here. It's my weakness. Oi! Oi! And turn now. So that randomness. Did you see that randomness chat? That was random. Random turning. Oh, I gotta use my this guy. And before avalanche. Oh, man. 
Yeah, Chipotle, I, I, they, I think they can do it because I'm looking at the routes they're taking, like the, the restaurants they're adding, and I, unless they got a policy against it, man, I could definitely see them adding Chipotle, and I'm be like, hon, I'm just going to burn my phone. I'm, we're just going to burn it. We're just going to grab it, grab the phone and burn it. Just either that or I'm going to have to get, I don't know some therapy because I can't control myself with that stuff. Chipotle is just too delicious. It's just way too delicious. I have a lot of self-control, but when it comes to Chipotle, I can't stop. And I can eat it every day. Every single, I can eat it every day. Oh, you got on door to see, man. I, I, I would have, to, I got to get on. I would have to get in a really strict workout routine so I can walk because I'll turn to a giant gum gob stopper gummy drop like the girl on on like the, she had the blueberry on, on blueberry thing on, on uh willy wonka that'll be me i'll be you have to roll me around the house and i'll be like honey can you get some more chipotle tonight while you're rolling me oh <laughs> the blue light <laughs> uh it's true Oompa loompa doopa dee dee. <laughs> I'm serious, but that stuff, that stuff is, it's not fair how good it is. It's just, I, I don't know. Some people don't like it, but I just, I can't get enough of it. It's just talking about it makes me want it. And they give you so much, and it's like too much to eat, but you still eat it all. And you like regret, like, because your stomach's about to explode. So, I mean, you ever had a, the burrito bowls? Are, it's so much food. It's like, that's a lot of food. You don't, that's, that's, that should fill anything up. But nah, you eat it all, and you like, I want some more. Oh, man. Like me, I'll order a burrito and a burrito bowl. And I eat both in the same day. And that's just sad. That's just, that's just call your mama. Just, that's just sad right now. It's like, I need to cry on the shoulder tonight. Like I, I'm, I'm really good about it now. I, um, I might get lost here. Um, I'm really good about it now because mainly because of finances, we just can't afford either that much because <laughs> they're freaking expensive. But on top of that, um, we, we, I just, we eat it like maybe once a month. Now, sometimes once every two months. But if it's on DoorDash, that's going to be really hard to resist. So we've been really good about the moderation because I'm all about the moderation, man. I don't want to do too much of anything like that. Subway, we don't do that. That That's that's something we don't do very often. Um, it's actually been years since I've been to Subway last. Years. Um, where's my coal? There we go. Let's put that coal in there. And we got some gold, some iron. Uh, what else? Can't smelt the diamonds, Buona. You about a block away? Oh my gosh. See, I remember when they were building a bunch of restaurants near our house and me and my wife just kept telling each other, Please don't build a Chipotle. <laughs> Please don't build a Chipotle. Build everything else. And they built a Chick-fil-A. That was close. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Please, because I love them too. But they didn't build a Chipotle. I was like, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. All right. We're going to use this coal up. My bread wasn't soggy. Um, and that's the main reason why I stopped eating. Uh, honestly, that's the, that's the main reason why I stopped eating subway it was because of the there we go um because of the bread quality it depends on the restaurant you go to like the one i had tonight i could tell the bread was old but it wasn't nasty you know it wasn't like super duper old nasty but it was old it was definitely old But when you get a subway with some fresh break baked bread, man. 
that's when it stands out it's like all right this is a decent uh, decent sandwich but we got a mom and pop shop here i can never remember their name but it's it's ridiculous if it weren't so far away we support them more but oh my goodness they is just and yeah their bread is outstanding it's fresh freshly break baked freshly baked freshly baked bread freshly baked bread and um their ingredients taste i don't know if they're homegrown or organic or what but they just taste better it's like papa john's slogan but not papa john's better ingredients better sandwich everything tastes fresh and better and their sandwiches are huge um and they've been there they've been there ever since i can remember they've been there over 10 years over 10 years and i'm glad to see them still going there they're, they're See, the thing is that they're, they they built it, it's like next to a whole bunch of hospitals. I'm like, oh, they're smart. They're smart because all them, all them resident nurses and doctors and even people that are at the hospital and stuff that want to get, it's just right there and they just go there for lunch. You see people walking there all the time. And it's always lines, long lines. So I think they're going to be in business for a while. I'm happy for them. They deserve it. That that place is outstanding. And my wife, we went, my wife and I went there like for the first time. Gosh, it was like probably like four years. She said, I'm going to go by this place. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that place. Actually, this was last week and she brought it home. And I was like, man, I forgot this place existed. And sure enough, it was because she was on the other side of town anyway. And it was, oh, it was so good. I was like, wow. <laughs> hospital food is nasty. Depends on the hospital. I've, I've had some good hospital food. Like, kind of too good. Kind of made me mad. Because they, I mean, they had like cafeterias. Not like the, the food they bring to patients and stuff, but. And then we got Firehouse Subs. Firehouse Subs, which is a chain down here, but it depends on, there's some bad ones out there, but we got a good one. We got a good one and they deliver too. So they don't deliver through DoorDash, but they deliver. And um, really, really good place. And we have to be careful because that's like $15, $20 between both of us for a meal. And that, that's, we can't afford to do that very often. So that's like a once, twice a, twice a month type thing we do to save on money. They have this local place that makes different variations of gourmet grilled cheese. They use all local ingredients and bake their own bread. It's so good. Yeah. If you guys got places like that near you, support them, man. Like if you don't buy, if you don't want to eat that stuff, you know, just for health reasons, just go in and buy a cup of coffee or something. Support those people. They, they just need, you need to keep those places around because they're, they're, they're dying out fast. They're becoming extinct. They are becoming extinct. They're so hard to find. There used to be a dime a dozen mom and pop shops everywhere, especially in Florida. We used to have strip malls full of them. There, there, man. It's like the subways pop up and uh, and all the chains pop up and just put them out of business. Um, finally grew, chat. It finally grew. Potatoes. It's growing slowly. Okay. I said I was going to do another building other than this one. I don't know for sure now. Oh, I could do a little. That's. Kind of want to do a little mini pond, but I got a well right there, so I have that one. Just a little pond surrounded by flowers. I guess I can put it here. Just 
Just a little pond that, uh, with some half blocks. Actually, let's do 12 of these. I don't think I have any flowers on me. Actually, I don't want that corner one there. Like so. Then put some flowers around it. Um. I have exactly four. And let's get some water and do that. I think I only need two, don't I? I do four just in case. I think you only need two. Okay, flower ass. I had a rose. I think I trashed it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I think I trashed it. Um. I'm gonna have to get some flowers from somewhere. Man, I got a lot of stuff. Starting to grow. So we've got a full stack of iron, finally. Uh, there's some smooth stone, gravel. I'll keep a stack of cobble on me. Flint. Flintlock wood! Uh, ladders. Sticks. Strings. The foods, the granites, the diorite. All right, the disc, that. Yeah, sure. Here we're golden. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a break. Walk around, go bother my wife. I think she's asleep. What time is it? Yeah, she's probably asleep. I'm going to go walk around a little bit, stretch, and we'll come back for the final stretch of the stream. I'm almost done. I think I did pretty good for one stream. I mean, this isn't, like, elaborate, but it's decent. I mean, I didn't finish my big hurrah over here. I didn't finish this, but uh, this was going to be my big fancy house. Because I didn't get enough... I didn't get enough, uh, what you call it? Get enough clay. But I'll be back in, like, three minutes. Thanks for watching. I shall return.